Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are going to whip up a quick and easy alcohol stove. together a quick and easy alcohol stove which is great for emergencies if you need fire pretty quick you should have this stuff right in your prepper pantry we're only going to use some empty cans um, from your canned goods I saved some of those cans because you never know when you're going to need them and what you're going to need them for they have tons of uses now, I don't save them all, but I do save a lot, and I try to save a good variety of them because putting them together, you can do different things with them. And to, we're also going to use just a little bit of 70% alcohol, um, just regular isopropyl alcohol from your drugstore, and some cotton balls. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is really super simple and easy, and you sh really should have all this stuff in your house. Um, you may not have a can, but if you open a can anytime, you can save a can. And I like these little tomato paste cans. They're nice and small. And I just take the label off, wash them up, and we have a little bin that we keep cans in. And all these cans, they don't take up that much space. They all fit together. and. Um, we're going to use just, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can do this because really it is so easy. So I'm going to start with just a simple, simple can. And um, I'm going to take and I'm going to fill this with my cotton balls. You can get all this stuff at the Dollar Tree or Walmart or the drugstore or anywhere, really. And we just want to push those down in. You don't want to overpack them, but... Just push them in and so you want them down inside kind of like so so they're squished in there and then I'm going to take my alcohol and we are just going to fill up the can and this is just from the Dollar Tree alcohol it's so this is literally costing pennies to do just a few cotton balls and this little can doesn't take much alcohol at all. And it's going to fill right up. So the cotton balls soak it up, but it's going to fill. It takes a little bit. You just want to get it so it stops going down. A little bit more, excuse me. You do want to be careful dripping alcohol and stuff. It You don't want to light that on fire. I This can is going to get really hot, but I have another way that I do this also. So if you have something to put it on, this works perfect. It's super fast. And let's light this up. So once we have this all full, our cotton balls are just barely sticking out the top. We can make sure there's nothing over this. I want to get it away from the cabinets. And we're just going to light this up. And we have a little alcohol burner. This is really as hard as it gets. It's really this simple. Um, you, This can is going to get hot as it burns down. I mean, right now we can touch it, but as it burns down, it is going to get hot so you want to be careful of that so another thing that I like to do just to give me a little more safety and protection and to put these out is really quite simple just a quick blow on it and it goes right out so another thing I like to do is I'm gonna move this over here and you can already feel the heat a little bit on the top of this can it's starting to get warm I'm going to pour some of my alcohol in here for a minute when I do this. And then I'm going to take this larger can and we're going to put some dirt in it. I just went outside and got some sand from our driveway sand. Nothing fancy. 
just some sand and we're gonna put it right in this can we're gonna put it right in the bottom and we want to kind of make the two cans even across so this is just going to insulate it that's all it's going to do it's going to insulate the heat so you are able to you need a little bit more so you're able to grab this and move it around which is handy and it's not going to be hot on the bottom surface because there is a good layer of sand in the bottom so as you can see I'm just putting the sand in and I am just going to put my little jar in squish that in there and now we're going to fill the sand in around the side if you have a little funnel that will fit in here that works really good if you don't you can you know use a piece of paper so make a funnel like when you were a kid you just you don't want to get it in that alcohol if you are starting with a fresh can it's going to be a little easier you can always get that out but we're just going to fill up these sides with the sand we just want to get it all down in there and i'm going to make a big mess because that is how i operate i am a big mess <laughs> okay so once we have our sand all filled in that is going to insulate this can so while this is burning it is not going to get hot and again just a quick light matches whatever you have works really well and this is going to throw enough heat to cook on so if you've got a rack and you had a little bit of, if you got this down a little further and you had a rack you could definitely cook on this you just want to make sure there's enough air underneath there so um this will work for that and it does throw off a good amount of heat but alcohol stoves it's not great to inhale the fumes you want to be careful it's great for in a quick pinch but I wouldn't try to do it long term you know you want good ventilation and it will warm you up but you don't want to get hurt in the process so this is definitely not a long term fix but it is a quick fix and it works great and I think alcohol stoves are wonderful especially if you need something quick you've got all this stuff it literally just takes a couple minutes to put this together that's it for today if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye